I am here to talk to you today about past life regressions. Many of you see the posts I have been making about what a past life regression can do, uh, the different aspects of it, and you also see how long it can take. Well, uh, there are different versions of past life regressions that can be conducted. For example, the very first one that I ever did was in a group setting, and uh, it was with maybe like 20 other people. However, it was not to the level that I could have really discovered what my purpose was and what uh, traumas I still carry over from that life to give me a little bit of an understanding of um, why things are the way they are today or have been and then how to clear it. So um, that said also there was like a ton of people in the room and some girl was getting on her phone, some people were making weird noises, it was like a whole it was a whole thing. So um, if I can make any recommendation, it would be definitely to do a one-on-one -on -one past life regression because it'll allow you to relax into the state that you need to fully discover what your past lives can bring to the table. Now, along with that, past lives um, are just kind of like a sum up phrase for all the lives that you've lived in all directions of what we consider time. However, time does not exist fully. We only make that construct so that we can understand and put things into place. So when you're thinking of past lives and you're thinking of a past life regression, it can be far in the future. It can be something that is parallel and happening at this time. It can be in our linear past. So it just depends on what comes forward for you. During a past life regression, People are going to be shown the things that um, relate to them the most at this current time in their life. So your inner being, your higher self, your oversoul is not going to show you anything um, at this time that does not pertain to something that you should know at this point in your time. They're going to show you the most pertinent information that's going to allow you to be fully in your power right now. Um, when people think of past life regressions, you can go into it with a mindset of, I'm just curious, I want to have fun, I want to understand. But what happens is, the things that you actually need to learn tend to surface because they are going to show you what is the most important thing for you at this time that you may not even be paying attention to. So that's the really exciting part about it, is that it's not even just like something you're going to be like, oh, I'm curious about this. It brings healing on a level that you didn't actually know you needed. We have existed in many lives. Now, some of us might think, oh, well, you know, this feels like very uncomfortable to me. I don't know if I have past lives. It doesn't mean that you don't, but maybe you don't have past lives here on this physical earth plane. We are energy. We do come from other places out in the cosmos. So you might not fully be integrated into a past life in this earthly plane, but you can still feel connected to other things. So as we do past life regression, sometimes these things actually surface. And um, clients that I work with will tend to see themselves as energy and they're like, I don't have a body. I don't think I'm doing this right. And I'm like, no, just trust and allow. The more you trust and allow things to come forward and you relax, the more is going to unfold for you and you're gonna understand about your ancient past. And yes, we all have ancient pasts. We've been around a long time. So when you go into a past life regression and all of a sudden you're like, I don't have feet. Well, what do you perceive your body as? Question that. Because that can relate to what life you existed in that actually pertains to this one now. They're showing you things that are going to be important for you to understand about your existence here on earth. We all came here to do something and it's about understanding those things. Sometimes we don't fully understand that just by talking about our life experience can bring immediate healing. There are things that surface within us when we allow and we trust ourselves to communicate it that give immediate release and miraculous healing right on the spot. Some things surface that you're like, oh, I didn't even realize that was such a big thing for me. And now that I do, that makes so much sense of why all these other things are lining up. So just if within the talking process of your own life story and, and the major events that have taken place, that can allow that first healing step to take place. Then as you enter into these past life regressions, again, you're gonna be shown what you need to see at this time. That could be everything from a life as, um, that exists at this time, if they need to show you something when you were a child that you need to revisit, or if you need to see something 10 lives before this one 
that pertain to this. They're going to show you that. So you have to go in with no expectations and just allow the experience to be your own. Your experience is going to be very different than anyone else's experience. So, so you can't sit there and put a whole idea of what you think your experience is going to be. Because I will tell you, out of all the ones I've done, every single one is very, very different. We have certain traumas that we carry over into this life. There's a lot of things that we don't understand why we are making the same mistakes, or why something aches in our body, or why we have um, an emotional issue surrounding something, sometimes a physical reaction around something that takes place, and we don't understand fully why. This can often stem to a past life. There are many things that I personally had that I couldn't fully understand why I have a physical reaction to, or I, I keep making the same repetitive mistake in my life. And a lot of these things stem from things we experienced in another life that we carry over into this physical one that we are living right now. And because this physical life is the most important one that we are existing in at the time, it is important that we release everything else that does not serve its purpose. So it's very important that you take that into account. We are carrying over things that affect us now and we sit here trying to mull over it. We keep making the same mistakes, we keep getting the same people returning in, in, in different, um, the same energies returning in different bodies allowing us to sit there and try to work through um, some things that we're supposed to learn in this life, okay? And we can kind of start to understand. Along with that, there are people who will show up within your past life that also are within this one. If there's a lesson that you didn't learn or there's a karma that needs to be worked out or um, the lesson from the karma, then you might have the same people within this life at this time so that you have this chance to work through that. Karma is just about lesson. It's just about learning something and working through it to ascend. There's nothing bad about karma. People sit there going, oh, karma's gonna get you. Karma comes back around, yana, yana, yana. But really, it's about a lesson. There's nothing bad here. It's did you learn the lesson from what you were supposed to? Okay, that's the beautiful part. Everything is about perspective. There's no fear that's supposed to be around this. You have to remove fear from the equation. A lot of people that wanna do a past life regression, they often go, oh my God, I'm scared, or, or oh, that freaks me out. And honestly, I'm like, there's nothing to be freaked out about. It's just, they're scared of the unknown. They're scared of what they've seen on television. The portrayal that media creates can often create the fear that you feel around these things. And really, it's the most beautiful experience that I can fully explain. Now, I was drawn to do past life regression work after I accidentally took someone into a past life regression during a meditation. And um, I, I just kind of sat back and I go, something said, you're supposed to be doing this. And I was like, okay. I think I'm supposed to be doing this. And I even told different people, I was like, I think I'm supposed to be doing past life regression work. So um, as I went along, everything just started coming forward. Everything that would pop up on TV, everything that would pop, and I don't watch cable, but everything that would pop up like on my YouTube or anything, even in a song, something would relate around past life regression work. I even got a new card deck um, called the Lightworker Oracle and I was doing um, shuffling, and I always ask when I get a new deck, what's the first card that you guys want me to see? You guys meaning my angels and guides. I say, what's the first card you guys want me to see? What's the message from this one? What is, what's important for now? So the first card I pulled was past life activation. And I was like, okay, I get it. That was the moment where I was like, okay, I understand. So it just so happens that everything unfolded the right way. And now here we are. And it's absolutely one of the most incredible things I've ever decided to do. And I completely understood and I know that this is what I'm supposed to be doing to help people. Along with everything else that I do with oracle reading and chakra work and um, helping people spiritually develop. But this, I have seen miraculous healing in the moment. I have watched people change even the expression on their face from when we started to when we finished. The understanding that comes from this experience is absolutely incredible. And to watch and to learn about someone's life story 
to the th traumas and dramas they hold on to and to that immediate release is such a beautiful thing to witness. And I just feel so lucky to be a part of it. I'm not even bringing the healing and that's what you have to understand. I'm not bringing you healing. I am facilitating the healing that you already have access to within you. Does that make sense? You have access to everything. You have access to everything in the universe. It's you being willing to accept it and know it. To remove the fear aspect from what you are capable of accessing. You are a self-healing being. If you could just remove the fear and realize that you are a sovereign being connected to all that is, you could bring that into your life in physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual ways. It really is up to you. I am only this vehicle to allow you to realize that and to allow it to come in. I will teach you trust. I will allow you to relax. And I will be there with you the whole time, but you are always in control. You are always in control of your experience. And your experience is so unique. I've seen everything from past lives in an ancient time to time travelers between the 20s and the 70s to future lives as extraterrestrials who look over certain districts in the earth. And you know who you are if you're watching this. I've seen people with fairy lives that exist parallel to this. I've seen people with have parallel lives that are existing right now, but it's an older version of themselves. It is absolutely incredible what you can uncover and how big everything is. Sometimes we're looking at something for you and sometimes we're discovering something about our universal history that isn't written in books. If you want to discover what you are truly capable of, then come see me, you know, like, or just ask. You don't even have to come see me. You can do it in a meditation where you sit there and you just ask, please show me a past life and allow the visions to come forward. The more you trust, the more you allow, the more you relax, the more you ask, the more you will receive. Is about you understanding how incredible and unique you are and what you have to bring to the table here. It lights me up. I know you're feeling lit up if you're watching this. It's all in your hands. The other aspect to this is that there are questions that you have about your life, things you've always wondered. There are things you want to heal about yourself, physical ailments, things you don't understand. This is a chance for you to be able to understand what those things are. With your access to the universe, the universal wisdom, you can ask these things that you've always wondered about. You can be able to get the information that you already know deep inside of you. It's about being able to unlock it. Now, the practice that I am referring to is called Quantum Healing Hypnosis Technique. It was developed by Dolores Cannon for over four decades. She had found out a way to get people deep enough in order to allow their conscious mind to get out of the way and allow the subconscious or the higher self over soul to step forward and provide the information. She created fail safe techniques in order to make it safe, to make it secure that you are protected and that you get the healing that you need at this time. As I said earlier, my first past life regression was done in a group meditation. So it was not as deep as I take people in when I work with them. Uh, the first past life regression that I went through, I did get to see something that I always felt really connected to, and that was my life in ancient Egypt. As I uh, came into the vision, I had seen myself as a female uh, with beautiful white flowing, like drapery, clothing. I could tell this hair was more like a wig or something that kind of like sat on me. Um, but I had very feminine features and I was like, I am a girl up in here. Okay, let's see where this is going. And as we took um, our steps through the past life, I got to see myself at temples um, along the Nile River at 
uh, specific ceremonies. I was a very important part to some ceremonies that took place in that ancient time, period. But I did not feel like I lived in the palace. I did not feel like I was a royal, but I felt like I did something to help them. Uh, and so as it unfolded, I discovered that I was an oracle for the royals in the ancient Egyptian period that I had lived in. So the things that I'm doing today to help people raise vibes, um, read into like guidance for their lives, all of that stuff is stuff that they did when I was living in ancient Egypt in this past life. So it was very funny that I had seen all of this lay out in front of me. What was interesting though is during past life regressions, we typically take you through the death process so that way you can fully heal and release. I did not see what this would have been for me at this time. So it'd be very interesting to go back through if it is pertinent. But I think what my oversoul was showing me was that the same things I'm doing here and that I have always done for so long, even though I shut it off at a young age, are still the same things that I carry over into this time. My life purpose, my soul theme, it has been the same and I will continue to be doing this kind of work. I even do this work in my dreams. I will go into the astral plane and I will help bring light to certain souls that live in dark spaces. I've had many, many dreams where I am in dark places, but I'm trying to tell something how it can find love and that it doesn't need to be there anymore. Many times all the time. So I know that my whole energy theme and my whole purpose has been around a very long time working with things like this and helping people into, or helping energies to pass on from darker places to raise the vibe. At one point I had so much ego attached to it so I let go of all of these things, but it allowed me to fully understand that everything I do in the physical, physical fitness and, and music Everything I've done has always related to this very specific theme of being an oracle or helping people raise their vibration. So it's very exciting. The life that came after um, that I ended up seeing kind of fragments inside of meditations. I get to see versions of myself, but I don't put much stock into it unless I get a full um, understanding of what that means because it could be just a passing image, a passing energy that comes through and I'm not going to just say that's a past life. I have to fully see things unfold a certain way. But when I was in Hawaii, I did get to go through a few past lives. And the first one I saw was me as um, a, a mer person. I know this is going to sound a little weird for you, but yes, these things do exist, believe it or not. Maybe not in your physical 3D, everything you can see but they do exist. So I existed and I couldn't fully see it at first, but I existed as an aquatic being of some sort, but I had a physical form as you see here, but not fully. It looked, this energy looked different, but it was definitely some kind of myrrh being that had died in the water. As we moved into the next life, I noticed a lot of native peoples in kind of like the forest and there were huts, things like this. I fully didn't understand. I saw paint on the body. And as you're experiencing, you're just kind of like, I don't even know what's going on. You're just like explaining what you envision. And then by the end of it, I noticed that this being who was me was looking over a cliff, looking down. And I was like, I think I just killed myself. I think I just jumped off or fell down there, but I wasn't fully sure. And it came to some understanding later by an explanation about the Apaches, about how they committed suicide so that they weren't killed during the war. And then the, the white paint I saw was actually war paint. So that came full circle later on after I got to process it. The final life that I witnessed within that same past life regression was one where I was in the 50s and I was, this, or 40s, 50s time, couldn't fully tell, but I was a beautiful like housewife. <laughs> and I was like, I am fancy. I was like, damn, I had like a purse up here. I had like my white gloves, my hair was like, and I had one of those like, um, you know, little things that come down from the hat. And I was like, damn, I'm, whoo, she looking good. She looking fly. So I was like, just kind of soaking it. And I could see clear colors. I could see my child. I could see the husband that was in my life. I could see me putting my child on this horse and watching him ride the horse to the entirety where you put the coin in. I watched the whole thing. And I also got to see the depressive state that I became in when there was a death in my family and how I had to 
commit suicide um, within that life. But the funny aspect about that was that I had seen why I named Pilot, Pilot. And it was due to uh, the plane that I had committed suicide with. So it was very interesting. The things you can find out are so funny. It just depends on what you're gonna be shown. So I hope that gives you a little bit of understanding about past life. Um, regressions and understanding and yes you can access these on your own you don't need to do a full past life regression to do it but I can facilitate that for you and help you understand the full experience and the extent of um, of what's going on and then at the end we do a debriefing so I try to help people understand what um, what you saw if you can't find the correlation or the connection I try to help you uh, with that process so I hope that this gave you a little bit of information about past life regressions, what they can do, what they can bring. I'm sure I missed a bunch of stuff, um, but I would love to hear your take on it and please um, communicate, engage, I love it. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.